This is Into Math 3rd Grade, Lesson 5.3. Use place value strategies to multiply with multiples of 10. I can use place value to find a product when one factor is a multiple of 10. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 127. You may pause if needed. We will start under Spark Your Learning. Alex swims 30 minutes each day for five days. Jed swims 160 minutes during these, those same five days. Who spends more time swimming? Okay, show how you can solve the problem. So if you would like to pause this video and try this on your own and come back, you may do so or follow along with me. So we know um, that Jed, they tell us Jed swims for 160 minutes. That's what we know is a fact. And Alex swims for 30 minutes each day for five days. So we could, t we could multiply five days and each day is 30 minutes of a swim to find out the amount of minutes that Alex swims and then compare it to Jed. And I know that this is saying five groups of 30, so I could write 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. That would give me one, two, three, four, five groups. And when I add 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30, my answer would be 150. So Alex has a total of 150 minutes. And if we compare 150 to 160, then Jed is going to have the greater amount of minutes, and we'll use a greater than sign so I can write that Jed spends more time swimming than Alex. Please turn to the next page, page 128. We will start first by taking a look at the connect to vocabulary. You have learned that each digit in a number has a place value. Multiples of 10 have a zero in the tens place. The examples provided 10, 40, and 130 all show a zero in the ones place. Let's take a look under Build Understanding, part one. Olivia practices the violin three days each week. Each practice session lasts 40 minutes. How many minutes does Olivia practice each week? And then the instructions tell us to use groups of 10 to show Olivia's practice time. So if you would like to try this on your own, you may pause the video and come back. Otherwise, you can follow along with me. Now, you'll notice here that they're suggesting for you to use cubes and create groups of 10 with your cubes. If you don't have cubes, that's okay. You can follow along with me with your paper and pencil. Now, I know that Olivia practiced the violin for three days each week. So I know that I'm going to make three rows for the days. And then it said each practice lasted 40 minutes. So I am going to make four groups of 10 to demonstrate the 40 minutes for one day. But I know that she did this for three days, so I will need to make two more rows. Now I have created a way to show in groups of 10 the amount of practice time that Olivia needs to practice the violin. And remember, these groups of 10 are all representing minutes in groups of 10. All right, let's look at part A. How can you write 40 as a group of 10s? Well, we've done that here. We, did, we said that this first row and all the other rows one, two, three, four. There are four blocks of 10, so we can write four tens. Let's look at the next section. 
how can you use place value to find the number of tens? Well, I will start by saying I can write 40 as four tens, which I did here in this first row. So here are four tens. And then I'm going to multiply that by three days because that's how many days each week that she practiced. So I can multiply three by four tens and I will get 12 tens. I can count the blocks of tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I confirm that I have 12 tens. So part C asks, well, how many minutes a week does Olivia practice? And we have drawn a representation of that. And we've also done the multiplication here. So we find that she has practiced 12 tens, which we know is really 120 minutes. Now let's look at part D. How does the visual representation that you made compare to the product you found by using place value. So here's the um, product that we found using the three times four tens, and then the visual uh, that we have is in this uh, green rectangle. So how do those compare? Maybe you need to pause the video, take a look at it, and come back. And when you're back, I hope that you will notice that both show that there are um, 12 tens either drawn or listed here. And that really means 120. So you are welcome to go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way as needed.